An introduction to the LithoFrame viewer. This tutorial is presented in five sections. The LithoFrame viewer consists of four viewing windows Map, 3D, Section, and Borehole. Choose the 3D model you wish to use. Allow a few moments for the model to load in. Go to the map window and explore the model contents inside the object tree. To do this, double click map objects. Adjust the window panels appropriate for viewing the objects or layers listed. Each object can be manually activated by clicking on the tick box. Right click to access the menu to organize all objects at the same time. This includes object isolation, ordering and the level of object transparency. This example shows transparency being set to a group of objects within the Geological Units group. A range of tools used to help manipulate viewing scale and position can be found above the map. Use the colour scheme attribute Pull down the menu to reveal alternative object attributes. Both objects in the object tree and data on the map face instantly update. You can prepare your map data for file export. Use the tools above the map view to manipulate the image position and scale appropriately. Click the double arrow icon to reveal extra tools. You can change the background colour. Click the Graticule button to add an adjustable scale grid to the map. Other options include a crosshair and a measure distances tool for the map face. The measurement is displayed to the bottom right of the map view area. Finally, click on the save icon to save your view as a raster format file. Set the viewer to show only the map and borehole windows via the Perspectives menu. You can adjust the window panels manually. Uncheck the tick box to hide data layers. Activate the borehole log query mode by selecting the log button located in the main toolbar. Click anywhere on the map surface. An XY coordinate adjustment box will appear. Click OK and a synthetic borehole log will appear in the borehole window. Repeat the process and add a few more logs. The new logs will appear listed in the borehole window object tree inside synthetic logs. You can review each borehole by checking each log in the borehole objects tree. The borehole will not be scaled appropriately and you will need to scale it manually to view the log. There are various scaling tools to hand located in the window toolbar. 
To save an image of the borehole log, select one you require listed in the borehole objects tree. Expand the log window view to full extent and resize the log image accordingly. You may wish to change the background colour. Then click the Save As icon and choose the raster format you require. You can view your synthetic boreholes in 3D. Right click on the synthetic logs tree and select Send All Objects to 3D. Set the viewer to the 3D window via the Perspectives menu. Open up the 3D Objects tree and deselect the geological units by selecting Hide All Objects. To view your 3D boreholes, adjust the model size by using the Scale tools in the 3D Window toolbar. One other way is to use the mouse buttons and tracker wheel to spatially manipulate your view. An individual close-up of each borehole can be achieved and saved to file. Each individual borehole can be hidden from view via the checkbox in the 3D Objects tree. Attributes of the boreholes can be explored via the Colour Schemes Attributes menu. Note how both the objects within the tree and the borehole image change with each theme. Set the viewer to show only the map and section windows via the Perspectives menu. Adjust the window pane to allow for the rendering of the section image. Using the scale and manipulation tools, adjust the map size and position appropriately. The Map Objects tree contains all the data layers. The new section will show in the cross section layer. To create a synthetic section, click on the Section button in the main toolbar. Click OK. Now click across the map face as required for the section profile. To finish the section trace, click on the Finish Section button in the main toolbar. A message dialog box will appear with a prompt for you to send your section to the 3D window. Click No and draw another section. Note how, as you click across the map, the cross section appears in the section window. This time, click Yes on the dialog box requesting if you want to view the section for 3D. Allow some time for the 3D profiles to process. Inspecting the cross sections group in the Map Objects tree reveals the new sections created. The new sections will be added to the cross sections list in the Sections Object tree. There are various scaling tools to hand located in the Section window toolbar. Extra tool functions can be found in the Section window navigation toolbar. The Section Graticule acts as a useful visual aid when scale measurement is required. Adjust the grid distances as appropriate. You may choose to change the background colour. Save the section image to a choice of popular raster file formats. You can send sections to 3D from both the map window and the section window object trees. Check that all boxes are ticked for the sections you wish to export, then right click the cross sections group and send all objects to 3D. This process may take some time. Once complete, set the viewer to show only the 3D window via the Perspectives menu. Open up the 3D Objects tree and deselect the geological units by selecting Hide All Objects. Hiding the geological unit objects will allow other features such as the cross section to show. Use the mouse button to spatially manipulate your view of the 3D profiles. The vertical scale of the model can be altered through the use of the Vertical Exaggeration tool. Extra tools can be found by clicking on the arrows in the toolbar menu. You may change the colour of the background,
save the 3D image to a choice of popular raster file formats. Attributes of the sections can be explored via the Colour Schemes Attributes menu. Note how both the objects within the tree and the 3D image change as you select each theme. For a smooth rotation, use the Rotate Left and Right button in the extra tools of the 3D Window toolbar. To view the model in full, restore the view of all object layers in the 3D object tree. Right-click the Geological Units group and select Show All Objects. Use the mouse buttons to spatially manipulate your view of the 3D model. To build a horizontal slice, click on the Slice button in the main toolbar. When the button is clicked, you will be prompted to specify the elevation you wish to use to generate the slice. Once your chosen elevation is entered in metres, allow time for the process to take place. The slice that has just been created will now be found in the Map Objects tree under Maps. To see the results of the slice in isolation, right-click on the Horizontal Slice object in the Map Object tree and choose Isolate Object. Or you may wish to manually peel back objects as demonstrated here. Once isolated, right-click on the Horizontal Slices tree and select Send to 3D. Hide the Geological Units object group listed in the 3D object tree. Note the horizontal slice is now visible along with the sections made earlier in the demonstration. Manually check off the two sections listed under the cross sections object group. Use the mouse buttons to spatially manipulate your view of the horizontal slice in 3D. You may wish to view the horizontal section in the context of cross sections created earlier. Finally, view the whole model in full by activating all the objects in the Geological Units group. Thank you for viewing this LithoFrame demonstration.